Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this quick tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can disable driver signature enforcement in Windows 10. This is a common problem with the 64-bit Windows editions. The driver signature enforcement is a protective measure designed by Microsoft to prevent malwares that are designed in the form of drivers from being installed to your Windows. Now, this protective measure could sometimes become a problem when using some legitimate software or hardware tools and you are unable to load the necessary drivers. Windows detects such drivers as unsigned drivers and gives out error messages like a digitally signed driver is required or Windows encountered a problem installing the driver software for your device or some other driver error. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how you can turn off this driver signature enforcement and have your driver installed in Windows 10. Okay, from the start menu, click on the gear icon to open your Windows settings. Click on update and security. On this page, select recovery. And then under the advanced startup, click on restart now and wait for your Windows to restart. Upon restart, you should see a page like this. Here you should click on Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options. On the Advanced Options page, click on Startup Settings. Here it says Restart to change Windows options and here is a list of possible options you can change by restarting. Down the list, you can see where it says Disable Driver Signature Enforcement. So here you want to click restart again and wait for your windows to restart. Upon restarting, you should see a page like this with your startup settings options. Here it says press a number to choose from the options below. From this list, we can see the seventh option says disable driver signature enforcement. So here by pressing the number seven or F7 on your keyboard, your PC will restart once again. And after restarting, the driver signature enforcement will automatically be disabled. Hope this was able to help you out. You can post in the comment section if you have any questions. Drop a like if you found the video useful and feel free to share with anyone who may want to see. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for notification on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.